Welcome back to the War Memorial Arena. Second intermission report, Syracuse Crunch with a 3-1 lead on the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. I'm Mike Kelly and I'm joined by Syracuse defenseman Jake Dotchin with a power play goal here tonight and a big howitzer from the point. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, uh, I'm working uh, in practice and everything to get that shot on that and get it on that hard. And uh, Marty put a good screen in front and it found the back of the net. You got a lot of wood on that one. You could see the stick bend. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's something that uh, I worked on growing up, worked on all my life. So uh, to have it go in, it, uh, it definitely paid off. Special teams are really clicking of late. How do you explain the turnaround in those areas? I think we just simplify. We're getting pucks on that, getting pucks deep, uh, supporting each other. And I think uh, that's starting to take its toll on other teams. What do you make of the game so far here tonight? I think we got a bit more uh, to give here, but... Uh, if you would have told us before this game we'd be up 3-1 going into the third, I think we'd take it. Keep up the great work. Thank you. You're welcome. That's defenseman Jake Dotchin of the Syracuse Crunch. He has a power play goal tonight. Crunch lead the Sound Tigers 3-1 after 40 minutes. This is ESPN Radio Syracuse.